गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वी वेर डिस्कसिंग इन द प्रीवियस क्लास न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल्स एंड देर वी डिस्कस हाउ द फूड इज गोइंग टू बी यूटिलाइज एंड कंज्यूम फर्स्ट हाउ द फूड इज गोइंग टू बी कंज्यूम एंड the consumed food how it is going to be utilized and whatever the food we are eating how that food is going to be taken into a different organ in our digestive system all right so in that we have discussed the total complete organs where they are going to participate to complex food into to convert complex food into simpler food right what are those we have discussed that is first the teeth are going to participate so the lesson was nutrition in animals right so in the previous class we discussed the types of teeth and their location their function and how each type of teeth is going to compress is going to simplify the food and now we we'll discuss the next one that is tongue how this tongue is going to help to pass the food or from mouth to next digestive organ so today we are going to discuss tongue so what is this tongue tongue is a fleshy muscular organ is a fleshy muscular muscular organ is a fleshy muscular organ right and it is attached at the is a fleshy muscular organ Of the tongue is what 
for talking purpose. And next, it mixes, it helps to mix the saliva with the food during chewing. And also it helps to swallowing the food. The first function for talking. Then second one. Second one is what? It mixes. It mixes saliva. It mixes saliva with the. It mixes saliva with the food. It mixes saliva with the food during. During. Chewing and helps in swallowing food. Chewing and helps in following food. It makes the saliva with the food during chewing and during chewing and helps in and helps in following sorry and helps. Following food. Right? So here the tongue is a fleshy muscular organ. Helps for talking purpose and also it makes a saliva with the food during chewing and helps in swallowing the food. Then, the beside of these two, the another functions are there. What are those? In our tongue, taste birds are there. Right? Taste birds are there. What are those taste birds? And because of taste birds, we can taste the different types of food. Right? We can say that we can taste sweet, spicy. So bitter, right? In our tongue, the taste buds are present. Because of that taste buds, we can taste uh, different types of food. Taste of different types of food, like the sweet, so spicy, and bitter, right? This is how it is possible. If we eat any substance in our tongue in a different position, these taste buds are present. So, if we are going to eat any citric fruits, so we feel that that so taste in the citrus, right? And if we are going to eat any sweets, that sweet taste is going to sense that uh, but so that we feel that we are eating that sweet, that sweet taste we are going to experience. And if we are going to eat the spicy foods, so that I am also same thing. The spicy, the taste buds will give the message that the food is spicy. So like that, in our tongue, the taste buds are present. Due to that taste bud, we are going to taste the any type of food, spicy, sweet, sour, or bitter, right? Okay. So the next function of this tongue is what? Taste buds present in tongue. Okay. Taste buds are there. Taste buds. Helps to detect. Taste buds helps to detect different. Different tastes of food. It helps to detect a different taste of food. Then, sometimes, this is what about tongue. Right? Tongue is a fleshy muscular organ. And it moves 
front and back and up and down as well as left and right so in all possible directions in our mouth it is going to move freely so that it helps to move that food whatever the internal secret that saliva is going to secrete in our mouth with the help of that saliva the tongue mixes the food with saliva so that when it is going to mix that food when we are going to chew when we are going to chew that food that time that saliva with the help of tongue that saliva is going to mix the food so that it is easy to divide the complex food into simpler form as well as the tongue also the taste buds are present so because of the taste buds it detect the different taste of food it detect different taste of food and for talking purpose also the tongue is
because what happens when we are talking and when we are laughing or whatever during reading time so what happens that some of the food particles will enter into that windpipe so that's the reason we feel that the hiccups as well as choking sensation because these two are windpipe as well as food pipe the track is same that through the neck only they have to pass right so sometimes the covering is there how the lady is going to cover if any leak after that that we used to say that flap covers flap like covering is there so once the food is going to enter in our food pipe that flap cover flap like cover will help to cover the but sometimes what happens that small particle food particles are going to enter to that vein pipe then we are going to feel the hiccups cough as well as some choking sensation okay so here this whatever the food pipe as well as vein pipe are they pass through that at the center they are here only both are in one side to side that's the reason if the food some food particles enter into the vein pipe then we are going to face the some choking sensations okay now we will discuss that how this is the hiccups and cough and the choking sensation happens okay thank you so here the wind pipe the wind pipe and the wind pipe and adjacent runs adjacent to the food pipe the wind pipe runs adjacent adjacent to the food pipe adjacent to the food pipe okay so here but inside the throat air and food share a common passage but inside the throat inside the throat inside the throat a and food but inside the throat a and food share a common passage a and food share a common passage share a common passage okay then how this food prevented from entering the vein pipe okay then how can we prevent how can we prevent to enter the food into vein pipe is how can we prevent so that the food particles should not enter the vein pipe i told you if it enter the vein pipe sometimes severe actions even uh, severe situations also arise the more hiccups and the choking feel choking feel means you are not unable to breathe choking feel means what here we feel that we can't breathe because already food particle is stuck in that uh, vein pipe then how it can pass the vein so that we can breathe that's the reason choking feel and so unable to breathe then it may cause some time it may cause even death also if it is in a serious action okay so that's the reason why eating we should not talk and of our elders used to say right usually they used to say that don't talk and don't laugh while eating the reason behind that is what 
sometimes electron particles may enter wind body. That is general precautions. Then how can we prevent to enter the fourth group into wind body? Okay. So let us discuss. So here, during the act of swallowing, a flap-like wall closes the passage of the wind body inside. Inside our body, there are doing very nice functions. All the organs are functioning very nice, right? So that's the somehow because of our negligence, we are neglecting our health. That's the reason we feel some disorders. Otherwise, if we maintain a healthy food and healthy positive attitude, then obviously we won't get any disorders. So here, during the act, act of swallowing, what happens? I told you, a flap-like structure wall are there. Flap-like walls are there. They are going to close. When food is entered, a flap-like wall are there. They are going to close the passage of windpipe. These flap-like walls are going to close. Going to close windpipe. Then obviously the food particles will not enter the windpipe. A flat like wall means have you seen that in any uh, meter that one cover will be there to really get cover again it is and we are saying in flat like wall. In our windpipe also walls are there and those walls are they are in flat like structure. That's the reason they are given flat like wall going to close windpipe. When the food is going to enter through our neck, the throat, I told you that passage is saying the food and wind should pass through this throat only. Right? But the pipes are different, windpipe and food pipe. So when the food is going to enter, that time these walls are closing automatically. Right? Then the, there is no option to get that food particles into the wind pipe. Okay. Then, what is the function of this esophagus? Now we discuss that where the place, the where this esophagus is present, right? In the throat and how the wind pipe and food pipe are functioning. Now we discuss the functions of food pipe. One by one we discuss, right? The functions. functions. Yes, what happens? The whatever the, the swallowed food passes into the food pipe or esophagus. The swallowed food Swallowed food passes into the food pipe, passes into the food pipe. Then, second, the food pipe runs along the neck and the chest. I will use that esophagus. Esophagus runs. Esophagus runs along the neck and the chest. Esophagus runs along the neck and chest. Along the neck and chest. Then third, food is pushed down. Food is pushed down. Food is pushed down by movement of the push down by movement of the walls. Wall of the 
root pi. Okay. Yes. Next. And this moment takes throughout the elementary canal and push the foot downwards. So here, these movements of the ball, movements of the balls makes that foot to push it down. And this continuous movement of ball makes the throughout the elementary canal, the digestive tract, up to it reaches that stomach, it is continuing. That foot is going to be pushed up. Down. Okay. This trailer that is. And this movement takes forward. And this movement. And this movement. Of the wall. This movement takes forward. Takes forward. The elementary canal, the elementary canal, movement takes through the elementary canal and push the foot downwards and push the foot. Downwards. The next. Okay. So whatever the smaller food is passes into the food pipe, and that esophagus runs along the neck and throat. So then the walls are there. So because of the movement of those walls, the food is pushed down to stomach. The next. After the food by esophagus, the food is going to be passed to the stomach. So where, after doing this process, now that food pipe is doing this, it is going to pass that swallowed food. But sometimes what happens, we all have experienced that, sometimes we feel omitting sensation, right? We all have felt that. One or the other, in experiences we all have faced that one, omitting after eating certain food. Why it happens so? Because these are doing that duty, the swallowed food and whatever the chew, because in mouth it is chewed and it is in. But sometimes stomach will not accept that food, whatever you push down with the help of food pipe. So that time suddenly it get omitted. So here, what happens? Stomach doesn't accept food and it get omitted out. So whatever the food is pushed downwards, the pushed food or pushed food is if stomach didn't accept it, didn't accept it, the food. So I will consider here the food passes to the stomach. But if stomach didn't accept, didn't accept then the food omitted from then food omitted out right because in our stomach whatever the food is swallowed and that food is further moved to the stomach with the help of esophagus or food pipe where the laser balls are present and due to the movement of those balls the food is pushed downwards and that food is next entered into our stomach when it enters the stomach that time what happens 
if that food is not accepted by the stomach then it omitted out that's the reason we feel that omitting sensation and all those things when we eat food if it is not suitable to that stomach if it didn't accept it then suddenly it comes out that is what we used to say that omitting sensation or omitting out so today we study the tongue and esophagus where the food is going to next pass to the stomach in the next class how the food is going to be simplified in our stomach how it is going to simplify the complex food is going to convert into simpler food in the next process that is in our stomach right okay